How's it going guys? Welcome back to Crafting Cards. Happy Tuesday and happy Valentine's Day. So of course today we're gonna to be working on the love of my life, my 1997 Honda Civic project car. And we're gonna be continuing our wide body kind of futuristic transformation. Today might be one of the most important days of this transformation because we're gonna be making our own custom wide body over fenders or fender flares, whatever you wanna call them. I would even wanna classify these as when we are complete with them today. I don't know what I'm doing. So we're gonna be working with some new materials today, doing a little bit of experimentation, troubleshooting. I'll probably be doing a lot of thinking out loud. And hopefully by the end of the video, we come out with something that I'm happy with and it's gonna look good on the car and we can help move the vision forward. So let's get right into it. Now I'm getting pretty stoked. Every episode we're getting closer and closer to our concept images and sketches. Now I can make as many sketches and renders as I want. Uh, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be able to make up my mind until I actually see some stuff on the car. Uh, so yeah, speaking of that, I picked up those bad boys right there. Now if you look in our sketch, we've got some trapezoid shaped over fenders, uh, very similar to the new uh, Rocket Bunny Pandem kits for the CA Corvette. A GR86 and the GR Yaris. I kind of like the style. You also see the similar shape on the 2023 WRX. Now I picked these up. They're actually from Japan. Had them shipped over uh, Japan Post. You know how it goes. And these were designed for a 1980s Datsun 510 Coupe or a Datsun Sunny. And these are made by TS Racing Works. So they make these cool over fenders to fit on that Datsun. Uh, very nice, very unique trapezoid shape. And yeah, I can even go ahead and do a quick little test fit on the car. If I can get them to balance there. Uh, as you can see, if it wants to balance, as you can see, very similar to our concept sketch. So, and those are fiberglass too, so I might be able to work them a little bit and make them fit, but that's just one idea. Today, we're gonna be making more of a standard style flare, maybe with a little bit more futuristic styling. We're gonna be working with this right here. This is polyurethane foam sheeting. Uh, this is only a quarter inch thick. It's pretty stiff, but this is made for uh, crafting. So it's very uh, easy to work with. You can sand it, you can cut it pretty easily. It's kind of expensive though. So you gotta use it very carefully. We're gonna be doing most of our designing and stenciling using good old fashioned cardboard. So yeah, we're gonna be laying everything out with the cardboard. Once we're happy with the shape, transfer it onto the foam. And then yeah, copy it down to the other side of the car. And that's kind of how we're gonna work things today. But yeah, I suppose let's pop a squat by the car, set up the tripod and we'll get designing. Now I'm looking at the side profile of the car. Uh, one thing I noticed, probably because of my aftermarket front bumper, is this gap here is a lot bigger than this gap right here. Uh, so now when we design our over fender, can't let that trip us up. I want to make sure that I center it over the wheel, make sure it all looks nice and symmetrical on the car. So yeah, if I just kind of follow the body lines, uh, the whole fender flare might be shifted a little bit too forward. So I gotta keep that in mind. And I'm also gonna want to remove this little quick release here. It's probably just gonna get in the way of our fender flare. So I'll go ahead and take that off. I'm gonna use some thinner masking tape to kind of map out a nice curve for the top of our arch here, um, keeping in mind the location of the wheel. So definitely want this gap to be a little bit smaller than the gap I'm gonna have over here. And this is gonna give us that overall length of the top of the curve. We'll be able to take that length and transfer it onto our cardboard. starting shape. I don't want to cut too much off since I can't add any back on, but I know I'm not going to need this entire sheet of cardboard. So basically just going to cut this thing in half. Just make it a little easier to work with. So if you take a straight edge, curve it, and put it against the body of the car, your fender flare is just going to be sticking straight out. And that's kind of whack. Somehow we need to make the fender flare tilt it down a little bit, a little bit more like a standard flare. And to do that, we're just gonna have to trim off the top here. Um, but to find out how much we gotta trim off, let's go ahead and test fit this on the car. So we started about here, we're going all the way down here. And this thing's still way too big. It's almost kinda hard to work with. So we're gonna trim it down just a little bit more. I'll probably just cut it in half again. I'm gonna 
just start by only kind of taking a, cutting it about an inch from the edge here, slowly working it in towards the center. Just the slightest curve. All right, so that's a little bit closer. <laughs> we still got a lot of excess, so I could probably get away with trimming another three just off the bottom of our piece of cardboard here. So this is starting to look a little bit more like a fender flare. As you can see, probably want to angle it down just a little bit more. Uh, but overall, I kind of like the shape. We definitely got the arch pattern correct. Uh, but yeah, but to tilt it down a little more, we're just gonna have to shape a little bit more off this side, this inside edge, and a little bit more off this side. We've now established a good center point. You can see it's kind of pointed down here, so we're gonna want to cut that straight across. And same thing in the rear where it's pointed down. Go ahead and trim that up. So yeah. All right, as you can see, we've done a lot of little trimming. But all it takes is a little bit and adds quite a bit of angle to that flare, which is looking much more like a standard fender flare now. So yeah, we got the nice aggressive cuts on the side. The last cut I have to make is the one that goes kind of right along the tire there. But yeah, it's looking nice and wide. I'll go ahead and set up the camera. And there you have a cardboard fender flare. So yeah, as you can see, we got it cut nice and true with the side of the wheel. We have the steering wheel and the car straight and the car is aligned properly. Uh, but if you notice, the flare is a little bit wider in the front and then it is in the rear. Although the wheel is straight, I think that's just because the EK chassis kind of narrows towards the nose of the car. Or if you go to the back of the car, and look down the side, you can see that it is completely straight. So yeah, that's just the way it is. If this was a universal fender flare, our fitment would be super nice in the front and then it'd be way off in the rear. So that's one benefit of making your own custom flare. So now we'll go ahead, take the cardboard off the car. Since it is cardboard, it's flattened right back out. Go ahead and trace it on the polyurethane sheet, flip it over and trace it again. And just like that, we will have a foam flare for both sides of the front of the car. See what we're working with here. So I had this corner kind of right in the door molding. The top was right below the body line there. And that was about right there. Oh my goodness. It's too easy. Oh yeah, it sounds like it kind of wants to spring back into shape. I'll probably need some help taping it down. So I'll give Gideon a call. He's almost done with work, so hopefully he can swing on by and help me tape this into place while I hold it still. But wow. And it's nice, so since we shaped it ourselves, we basically just give ourselves perfect fitment. Is that, is that the reason not for cancer? That's why it's so damn expensive. <laughs> that one's the good cancer. That one breathe it in, that's for damn sure. Go crazy with it. We can try it. I already know what my Instagram captain's gonna be for all my progress pictures on this. Yeah. Good news, everyone. Arts and crafts time was extended by four hours today. My fingers hurt. Just got five glass to it. What you aren't accounting for is the tension. Oh, the tension. This guy. Yeah, there's a lot of potential energy. That's what I'm saying. Right there. Oh. Oh man. The way the meat sticks out the side. <laughs> it's all about the shrink. Well guys, I don't even know what to say. Uh, our first time messing with these polyurethane foam sheets, it turned out awesome. Super easy to work with, provides a nice smooth radius there. And yeah, I could not be more pleased with the product. I suppose the only downside is it's a little bit powdery, so sticking tape to it is a little bit challenging as you saw there, but we made it work and man, it's so clean. Definitely gonna be sticking with this style on the car now that I see it in person. And yeah, we already have the other side ready to go. So we're putting that on and getting started on the rears in my own time here. Of course, I'll be getting you guys all updated on Instagram 
Um, so yeah, if you want, you can follow me at afton.voit.ej8. Get a little bit more of that crafting cars behind the scenes action. But yeah, our next upload, I'm gonna be laying some fiberglass on these Johns, making a little bit more permanent. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll mess around and put some carbon fiber on them to match the hood and the trunk. Still making up my mind on kind of how I wanna go about all this, but yeah, definitely a big step forward today. Um, of course, I'll have all the links of everything I used today in the description down below. I'd love to hear if you guys have any comments uh, down below, any suggestions. This is my first time doing any like custom molded body work. Uh, so yeah, anything goes, just let me know. I'd love to hear it. And man, yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, drop a like on the video if you loved it. And I will see you not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after that. Thanks again. Bye-bye.